Hey everyone, let's paint some cute veggies today with watercolors and I'm going to keep this video real time so that you can paint along with me. So before we start, I just want to tell you that keep your hand loose and keep your mind free. There's nothing wrong or right when you're painting, especially when we are doing very simple and loose style watercolor, something like this. So just keep a free hand, try to vary the the shades of the colors that you are using lighten it darken it and play around with it and just have fun with it so for this turnip here i just used very light paint that means i add more water and use less pigment and then just created this long long strokes using just the tip of the brush again with a very loose hand so that it doesn't look like straight lines and then I used more pigment and added one more so layer just of like this darker so you can, so you can add it like this two three longer if you want and like then shades of green here and for the turnip I'm just using any kind of purple that you have with you you can use it and I'm I haven't drawn anything in here and I'm just outlining it with little pigment and then just taking some water and spreading it and giving it the shape So whenever you have to do fine lines or little bit detailing then always uh, rest your hand firmly on the table and then slowly move your index finger and thumb where you are holding the brush slowly swiftly move it around so that you'll get a very nice and thin line. Again I'm just adding a little bit of more deep purple up here just to create a little bit of more shading and then just blending it all together with some clean water so that there are no hard lines in it. A few more detailing little bit and then we'll be done with this. So here I'm starting the carrot now and I'll be starting with the orange first and just giving it a little bit of triangular shape very uneven and with a shaky kind of a hand again i'm doing the outline directly with the paint and then we just spread it around to create the variation of color add some water in between and then just just try to be a little faster with this because if the paint dries then you won't be able to blend it in then adding more pigment little bit Again same thing uh, for the leaves just a few variation of greens and very very thin lines and not very straight little bit shaky and random and different heights and that's it like very very simple if especially if you are a gardener and if you love planting veggies then you can also make any kind of art out of this you can draw these uh, and on a paper and frame it up. Next up is a little tiny red radish and we are going to do it in two colors not the simple plain red one but the little red and white one again same style of leaves I'm doing here and then I will follow the same steps for the radish I'll use the slightly pinkish color for it and start with outline and then keep on blending it give it a shape and then just add a few details to it.
just adding a few more highlights uh, with a darker color with a more deep color you can use purple you can use slightly darker uh, slightly darker color you can even use very very light tone of black Now let's do a beetroot and same way the leaves are done very very simple so you can see you can do a lot of things with it and then for the beetroot it has to be slightly deeper color so I'll mix mix it up. So here is our deep beetroot color and again the same steps I will be doing outline and then blending it giving it a shape and it's in really really very relaxing and very calming also because anyways you're painting something from the nature and there's no stress because we are not doing anything realistic and it's very very freehand. Let's do a white radish also. This one can be a little tricky so you can make it or you can also skip it because we're going to be using black a little bit here just to give the effect of white. So let's start with it. Leaves will be the same and then we'll do the radish. So I do, I'm just taking very very light black so it looks grayish which we because we just want to outline it and just we'll do very very few details and it will just pop up like this. Never use the black directly from your color pan because it could can be a little bit dark and then it will ruin it. So best is to take a little black and put it on the palette and then pick up very very light light shade of it. Just a few more detailings here and just spreading so that the lines don't look like an outline and blending it all in. I'm also adding a hint of slight green on the top. Very very light and blending it nicely. Quickly add a little detailing to the beetroot as well.
uh, one last one the kohlrabi or the turnip cabbage and so it will be done only in green and we'll just vary the green to get the different shades and this one doesn't have i'm not doing the typical leaves for this one so we'll just do the detailing for it So instead of using your imagination, you can also open up a few pictures of these veggies on your on your phone or your computer and have you can refer to those to get the shape right and get the colors right. So there's nothing wrong with that. And here I'm just using a little darker green to make those these stems from which the leaves come. You're not doing the leaves, but the stems are very, very typical of it. So we'll do these. So that's about it we did very very light and very very loose style six vegetables six different vegetables with watercolors and i hope you give it a try and don't forget to subscribe if you if you like this video don't forget to like this video as well and share it with your friends i do post regularly here and all sorts of videos i post so hoping to see you again until next time bye bye and take care thank you